Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Anita Cherie, and I am back with another video. In today's video, you're going to see me get my spring decor together. So I'm doing a little bit of early spring cleaning and setting up for the spring. Right here in this corner, this is my dog station. This is where I keep like their potty pads and their treats. So um, I am kind of organizing a little bit because the dogs do tend to go over there and play. So right now I'm just going to, you know, organize it, get it together. Um, what you see me organizing is a temporary station until I can find something that is permanent. But right now this will do. And as you can see, my sweet Aya Papaya ran over there for a snack. So I had to give my beloved dog a snack. Um, they love snacks, so I had to give her one. So in this case, I gave her a little treat. And um, it, as you can see, it looks like she wanted something more than what I gave her. But overall, she ended up taking her treat and she took off. But even though she took off, she came back. And she came back with a friend this time. Yes, Mr. Blaze Buppy himself had to come get his treat as well. So I had to give him a treat too. So you know... I gave them a treat, sent them on their merry way, and mommy can go back to getting her house back together. So here I am just going to run the vacuum cleaner across the floor um, before I stationed any furniture and anything. So I did a full vacuum across the whole living room. This rug is a little tough to vacuum because this vacuum cleaner literally sucks. It has a suction power of none other. Um, it is the Dyson, I think it's the V5 Dyson, I'm not sure which one. But um, it has a great sucking power. And as you can see, I do struggle vacuuming across the floor, but hey, it works. And here I'm just going to remove all of my previous decor and miscellaneous items off of the couch. Um, that was my previous Valentine's Day decor. So I'm just showing you guys literally how it looks before you know you do the final decorations. And then here I'm going to pull out the pillows because um, it is time to vacuum out the pillows. If you know, most times, oftentimes, some people don't vacuum out their couches, but they do tend to get crummy. So in my case, I did pull them out to vacuum, and this is what I'm doing. I literally vacuumed the whole couch from the sides to the front to the back. Um, the cushions, everything got vacuumed. So that is what you see here. After completing the vacuum, I did put um, all the cushions back on the couch and um, proceeded to vacuum the cushions. I do like to see the lines in my couch and I like to see the lines in my chairs. I know it's weird, but it's just something about the lines in the furniture. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, but the lines matter. But according to Blaze, the lines do not matter. His paw print after I vacuumed was all in the couch, but you know what? That is okay because we do have living pets and they do tend to get on the couch. So here you see Tiff and I um, about to push the couch back down because I had to vacuum the area. So I did have to get a little assistance because the couch is a little bit heavy. And as you can see, I'm a little weak. I struggled. We laughed about it. But you know what? That's okay. We got the job done. After I got the couch position, I went on ahead and um, pulled the end table back down closer to the couch and I went on ahead and sprayed it off. I used spray away cleaner and I did remove the lamp and the um, diffuser to clean that table off. The diffuser that you see is from the hotel collection diffuser. I got it around November when they had their Black Friday sale. Um, 
I, it's okay. I like it. Um, it's it's okay. Let's just say it's okay. And here I'm going to go ahead and begin decorating. This year I decided to go with the yellows. This is more like a mustard yellow. Um, these are pillow colors uh, covers. They are inserts um, that I did purchase off Amazon as well as the pillow covers I also purchased off Amazon. Anything that I list, I will put in the description box below so you guys can easily navigate and find it. But it will be listed in the description box below. But these are 24 by 24 uh, pillowcases. And here I added my white fluffy pillows. Those are from last year, so I didn't have to repurchase those. But I did also get them off Amazon as well. As you can see, the yellow pillows are a little bit big, but that is okay. And here I did add a yellow throw blanket that I also purchased off Amazon. For the most part, I did shop my home this year. I bought about three things this year to add to the new home decor, but 95% of the decorations that you see me using will be from repeats from previous year and stuff that I already had at home. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and reposition the table back into the center of the living room so I can go ahead and get that together. I also cleaned it with spray away. To me, I still have not found the perfect glass cleaner that gives me the no streaks, but so far the spray away, I guess it does its job, but I don't know if it's oils in my fingers or the paper towel or the rags I use, I don't know. But I can never get it streak free, but here we're gonna attempt to get it as streak free as possible. Here I am going to take my mirror tray and I'm going to play around with the table a little bit until I get it exactly how I like it. But here I did place a mirror tray and then I took a plain white uh, ginger jar and I added some white flowers and some white lilies. Um, the lilies I did get up, no tulips, not lilies. I got those off of Amazon and the white flowers I already had from last year that I purchased from Michaels. Here I'm just going to go ahead and add a coffee table book. I decided to just do one book and these little shadow box. Uh, thing the mirror shadow box. I also got those from Home Goods. I got them last year, the end of last year. I did put them in my Christmas haul. I did not use them for Christmas, but I use them now. And here I am going to go ahead and add two candle holders. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to do two, if I wanted to place one on a riser, or if I wanted to go with one. Overall, at the end, I decided to just go with one because I like the look better of one. I just wanted to keep it really simple for the uh, spring clean going into spring. I'll probably do more later throughout the year, more dramatic spring looks. But for now, I decided to go with the one LED candle that is battery operated and it is controlled by a candle. I mean, controlled by a remote control. As you can see, I decided to go with a yellow color. I did light it up as yellow and that's what I decided to go with. Um, it's really bright so you can't really see it. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the residual fingerprints. Um, messing with mirror type things, I tend to get fingerprints on everything, I think, because your fingers just have natural oils. So I'm just going to go ahead and touch all those things up. I'm going to go ahead and add my remote controls and everything into um, this shadow box. That's what I use them for to hide my remote controls and my coasters. And here I placed my little crystal, my white quartz in here. And here you guys have it, the final look. Um, I do love how the mustard yellows came out. Um, one thing I will recommend, I did use 24 by 24 pillowcases. I will recommend going to, uh, down a size in the pillow itself, 20 by 20, so the pillowcases wouldn't look so big and look more full. However, I did make it work for what I had. This is the overall look and I am very pleased with how it came out. Um, this is my simple spring clean with me. I just wanted to get it started and set up for the spring. I most likely will carry the yellows over into spring, into Easter. We will see. You guys will have to stay tuned for that. However, um, I am very pleased with how the, how the final look came out. I do hope you guys enjoyed the look as well. And as always... Um, thank you guys for supporting me and um, watching my channel. If you guys have not, please like, comment, and subscribe. And better yet, go ahead and share this video on your um, social media pages. Um, and until the next video, you guys, much love, peace, and happiness. And I'll see you guys in the next video.